welcome to the 5th of July's God blessing a very important blessing about purity God says may you be a courageous soul who makes the impossible possible by becoming strong from weak on the basis of the blessing when the child has courage the father helps if the child says dad i'll make sure that i invest your money in the right place in the right time and with the right people so the father will also say okay fine take this money and i'll be out i'm just showing an example of finances but it can be anything else too you first became determined that you definitely would become pure brahmin the father gave you multi million fold help he said you souls are ex- eternally and originally pure you have become that many times and you will continue to become that eternally when we are in param dham the golden age in the golden world that is the brahma loka we were without our bodies so lust didn't pull us anger greed jealousy didn't pull us because we were without a body we were eternally pure and then originally pure when we entered we came down in the golden age as deities we were originally pure shri narayan shri lakshmi shri ram shri sita they loved each other as soulmates which the whole world is talking about right now people talk about soulmates or do they talk about body mates what are you looking for they say i am looking for a soulmate i want to find my soulmate but when you get attracted to somebody on the physical basis you are not looking for a soulmate you have got confused by the body that is body consciousness god says you have to first know the soul within you you have to consider yourself to be a soul to look into somebody else's soul and that's what god teaches us he says consider yourself to be a soul and love me the soul who doesn't have a body god doesn't have a physical body and when we do this practice it becomes easy for us to love any other soul regardless of their physical beauty or whether they are good or ugly or whatsoever it is in the worldly ways we don't see we see we see beyond those things we beyond we see beyond the skin we see beyond the looks and that's what god wants us to do he wants us to love every being beyond their facial features their looks the ethnicity the color of the skin and god says then you are pure the father gave you multi million fold help he said you souls are eternally and originally pure you have become that many times and you will continue to become that by becoming aware of many times before you have become powerful so when god tells us my child for 2500 years when you were taking 8 and 12 births in the golden age in the silver age and this present birth you were pure so imagine somebody tells you that you were a rich person you belong to a rich family how would you start behaving right so same way god says you would belong to deity dynasty you never got into lust you loved each other as souls and with the power of your thoughts you used to give birth to your children not with the help of physical organs and when the god reminds us that and we just suddenly remember oh yes i believe i was that soul yes i can feel that i was that soul because i can feel soul i can feel the soul that i am and i can feel the soul that god is then it becomes easy to accept that and to move towards that because for 2500 years we are the souls who never had anything impure we never cut up animals and have had them we never had garlic onion we never had anything impure we had sattvic food pure food vegetarian food and we never got into lust anger greed or jealousy so when we get to know through god that who we were then it is easy for us to become that again so by becoming aware of many times before you have become powerful god says from being weak you have become so strong that you challenge people and say that you will definitely make the world pure and demonstrate this to everyone which the rishis munis and great souls consider to be difficult they say it's difficult to look at a woman in your house and not to have lustful thoughts woman is the door to hell they say no god says no a woman is the door to heaven a woman with knowledge is like a guru to you and you can learn spirituality from a woman too because forget the body of a woman or a male 
or a man there is a soul which is sitting inside and i give knowledge to the soul regardless of male or female because i am the supreme soul i give knowledge to the soul regardless of the female body or a male body so consider yourself to be a soul and become pure and then you can challenge the whole world even rishis and munis that we can stay together as husband and wife and we can get rid of lust and we can love each other beyond our physical beauty or beyond our physical looks we can love each other as a soul which lakshmi narayan ji used to do so god then says you say is extremely easy than to others that it is easy because of his power but we have to first learn how to love god who is bodiless is a soul only then can we learn how to love another soul regardless of the physical features or ethnicity or color or caste completely